welcome back. This video is some footage from a trip we took to, you guessed it, Southwest Florida. Um, this is to Key West. So not a location that had been hit by a hurricane or was destroyed um, or had any sort of damage whatsoever. We drove or I guess flew into Fort Lauderdale and then um, drove down to the Keys, which we again never been to before. So this is a new experience. Um, stayed in Marathon um, uh, and um, overnight and then um, yeah, drove down the next day to Key West. This is um, some footage going down to Key West. Um, you see some of the old um, bridge on the right there. Um, that they, uh, they've kept, some of it is open at Marathon. I think they have a seven mile portion of it open. Uh, you can actually walk on and uh, quite a ways and I think it you can walk to a, another key on it um, so that's kind of neat uh, I've rehabbed it and it recently opened up from what I could tell um, there's some fun with the camera <clears throat> going over the bridge again we had fun driving even though it was hot yeah the it was fun driving in the <clears throat> convertible Mustang and uh, having um that option was was great especially in the keys and just kind of wide open areas and the fresh ocean and and all the, the sights and smells that you're driving through but yeah key west uh, the whole all the keys were were neat i mean there's small ones and large ones and we drove all the way through stopped at the uh <clears throat> key largo visitor center met a very nice gentleman there and he kind of talked to us for uh, some time about yeah the keys and all the attractions and things like that and then um and uh so yeah that was nice very friendly people this is uh i believe there's a hard rock cafe over there i believe this is on duval street uh we kind of hung around duval street of course it's a popular place in uh key west we found parking pretty easily uh this was a tuesday the 11th um so it wasn't crazy uh, of course it was during the day um but still plenty of people there even though it was hot um just some neat old there's the oldest house in in um in key west apparently yeah back in some very historic homes there um neat 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 stuff this this uh yeah had this guy who built it had nine daughters, apparently, but uh, an historic uh, Catholic church up on the left here. Neat, neat stuff. Uh, us living in a 130-year-old home. <clears throat> These homes were, yeah, just get, made us feel kind of at home, uh, if you will. So um, this is just walking down, just checking, checking it all out. It's Kermit's, some of the best, um, in my opinion, Key Lime. Uh, pie um, and key lime juice. We bought some some uh, some of the juice there and had a little key lime pie on a stick um, that uh, was dipped in chocolate. Uh, amazing. <clears throat> um, so I even had a Adam and Eve back there, as you can see. <laughs> that was kind of odd. Never didn't know they had a storefront, but. Um, uh, definitely a free spirited town. Um, a little, you know, like a little Wendy's there was kind of funny to see some commercial stuff. Most of the stuff was not commercial; it was all local, which was good to see. Um, but yeah, neat, clean town. Um, yeah, it was historic properties. I didn't get any footage of this, but um, like the Ernest Hemingway House was there. Uh, it was like 18 bucks to get in, so we ended up not going in there, um, not peeking in there. But <clears throat> um, they apparently have 40 or 50 
cats that roam around the property and um but um there were plenty of people who were visiting that home it's kind of neat it's all kind of walled off uh had fencing and, and walls around it um so but yeah that's we just kind of explored in and around Duval uh street different side streets and stuff that was um but yeah, it looks like they they poured a lot of new sidewalking here and 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 uh, rehabbed some of the the asphalt um, off to on the left here is a is a, a neat old uh, I believe still operating and look what it looked like a uh, little uh, cinema uh, theater um, probably you know built yeah back in the fifties or sixties maybe um, gonna turn around I. Th- Think we're yeah we're gonna go look at it the tropic the tropic cinema so they yeah, they had some movies playing there um and um yeah it's kind of neat a bunch of bikes yeah most transportation around Key West yeah is either obviously walking bikes um little mopeds um these were some homes that were kind of yeah being rehabbed looking like um. Yeah, they were they were uh, not occupied, but um, and then uh, besides that, it, there's also plenty of golf carts. Um, kind of the the second mode of transportation in a lot of these places in Southwest Florida. Uh, so I think they could people could rent them. You can see, uh, yeah, the, the the four to six to eight person golf carts were fo- super popular to to rent. Um, and drive around. Um, still plenty of cars <clears throat> um, driving, so you had to be kind of careful. Um, yeah, coming out on some of these side streets and and but yeah, they were they allowed golf carts to drive um, and mopeds and everything else to interact with the regular traffic. So, um, but yeah, uh, there's a historic. Um, um, church up there here stopping here for some water i think it was whew, one of the hottest days <clears throat> um again um probably of the season so far um and yeah we drank a lot of water we were, we were not about to drink uh in the bars plenty of bars here is a little pier um that we found um yeah, the little beach club kind of deal off the left there. Uh, that little sphere off there is a naval observatory. We were told that was some had some sort of equipment that they tracked drug runners with. I don't know if that's true or not, but that was some local told us. I think this guy might have told us it was what it was. He was a local vis- kind of visiting the area, apparently. Let's take his picture, but um yeah it was kind of neat um right off we thought this is where the southernmost point marker buoy was but um it's actually off to the right uh down a side street kind of this this no-name side street you don't really um know it but um until you till you see it we thought this is where it was it's kind of where the map showed it was but it's off um down uh, ways down there, kind of where those those footings for it, well, it might have been a dock were uh, just past that. So um, be aware, even it, it was a hot day and it being a a um, a, a, uh, a weekday. The uh, there was a line for to just to take pictures <laughs> at that buoy. I think we probably stood in line. Oh uh, man, probably twenty minutes just to get a picture, and it was moving. But it was yeah, it was I I'd, I'd never experienced something like that before. But um, yeah, there was definitely people that were getting some heat heat uh, related symptoms, and so yeah, we just drank water the whole day because it was yeah. just hot, 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 hot. So I were not like here, but yeah, but, people. Um, Yeah, back when it was this sleepy old beach. 
Yes, it's more of exploring around. There's there's that naval air station. Uh, it's all yeah, kind of neat to see the southernmost, at least in the contiguous United States, uh, military installation right there on the the tip of of Key West there. But yeah, there was it's the whole town is yeah is obviously um, it been a yeah a sleepy um, kind of a, a probably a sleepy little little uh, coastal town and then some very rich folks moved in here. The story is that um, the what built Key West was uh, folks that were um, shipwreck uh, salvagers and they go salvage shipwrecks either uh, and, and would get the items or be paid to salvage them for the company. Uh, and got very wealthy doing that and kind of built Key West into this very, um, yeah, what, what at the time, very uh, opulent and um, uh, kind of more urban looking area with large houses and things like that. Uh, not the typical kind of, kind of beach houses that you would see or you would think you would see. Um, the the famous chickens, wild chickens that roam around uh, Key West, they they do exist, um, and they uh, they uh, they just kind of roam around. You just you just hang out with them, and they they don't bother you. Um, they we did go to Hog's Breath Saloon, which is kind of a, a, a famous um, bar and grill there for lunch. And there were chickens in there hanging out, and we kind of had to shoo them away a couple times, but they wasn't like they were dangerous or anything. But, um, but yeah, there's all up and down, mainly Duval Street, um, plenty of shops and places to eat. I think they said there's like 70 to 80 bars just on Duval Street. Um, and so I'm sure at night it gets pretty, pretty wild. We were there just right after uh, the 4th, so you can see some of the decorations that were still up. Um, but, um, the, uh, yeah, uh, I was, I was surprised, uh, I didn't see this in other, um, uh, parts of Southwest Florida, but I guess in Key West, it makes sense. There was quite a few cannabis, cannabis dispensaries, uh, there now that it's, uh, recreational, uh, marijuana has become, uh, legal. Um, so yeah, there was quite a bit of that, um, in Key West. Um, I couldn't tell a, a bunch of people were, uh, partaking, uh, of, of that. Obviously there was still, uh, a plenty of, uh, Cuban cigar shops, um, that, yeah, they kind of were using that term loosely. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the 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 Florida people did not seem super interested, like overly, like interested in yeah, in the whole cannabis deal. No matter where you went, um, it wasn't like it was. Uh, I, well, I remember Colorado being where it was a big influx of people, and um, and take that as you will. But um, there was yeah, for for the record, there was no. Uh, People walking around super high AF, um, uh, causing trouble. So, uh, but there was plenty of, of of those dispensaries there. So, um, again, maybe at night it might get a little cr more crazier. But um, we were there during the day and had a pretty long drive up to um, Cape Coral, Fort Myers. So we decided wow. to. Um, it's like three fifteen. Um, Decided that we could not stay the whole day, so. Um, but yeah, we enjoyed our time there. Uh, I'm sure we yeah could have do done a lot more, gone seen um, some of the other attractions. It was just super hot. We had just probably like a half a day to could hang around. There's plenty of these shots with pretty interesting T-shirts on them. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd ever see someone wear some of this stuff, but maybe it's more to get people in your store. But, uh, but yeah, it just kind of remind me of kind of this this laid back, uh, kind of like, almost like a college town with all the little shops and people offering things on the side uh, of the street, and 
but again, very clean, very, uh, yeah, just, uh, ha just very uh, good vibes all around. Um, we enjoyed the time in the Keys and would definitely go back. I would kind of like to go back at, on Duval uh, in and around Key West, maybe in the evening and see how that would look. But, um, but yeah, um, definitely a destination that I recommend um, for sure. So the um, it's a bit of a drive, but I think it's worth it. Um, to uh, to get there and to hang out, um, kind of wish we had taken a little more time in our schedule, made a little more time in our schedule to to stay in Key West and kind of see things outside Duval Street. But um, yeah, a lot of neat stuff there. So um, thanks for watching.